G'day guys, this will be a quick video summarizing a few different types of reaction forces. Let's start off with the normal force. Imagine you have a bowling ball wedged in a corner like this. What will the free body diagram look like? Well, of course you'll have the force due to gravity, but most importantly, you'll have two normal forces, N1 here and N2 here. Notice that normal forces are always perpendicular to the surface. Now let's talk about pin supports. Imagine you have a beam that's pinned on both ends, A and B. The free body diagram will show the force due to gravity and one set of reaction forces, AX and AY, and another set of reaction forces, BX and BY. These reaction forces are in the X and Y direction because the pin prevents the bar from moving in both the X and Y directions at this point. How about roller supports? Let's use the example above. Keep one pin, but replace the other with a roller support. The free body diagram will show the force due to gravity and the pin reaction forces, but because the roller support is free to move in the Y direction in this case, the only reaction force will be BX. Unlike a normal force, BX can be positive or negative. And lastly, we have the cantilevered support. This is where we have a beam embedded in one end where it can't move and can't rotate. Because the beam can't move at this point, there are going to be reaction forces Rx here and Ry here. And because the beam can't even rotate at this point either, there's also going to be a reaction moment M here too.